and welcome to another new edition of your favorite TV show, other than Ted Lasso, Viking Vision News. I'm Jenna, returning for my fourth year with the club. And I'm Abby, happy to be back for my third year of Viking Vision News. Today is Friday, September 22nd, 2023. It is a day four at Grand Island High School. But more importantly, today is Jenna's 17th birthday. Happy birthday, girl! Thank you, Abby. That's very sweet of you to mention. I've been lucky to have a newscast on my birthday for three straight years, so I appreciate your kindness. Well, I hope you have a wonderful day, but before we celebrate, we have some work to do with this newscast, including a preview of tonight's home varsity football game, later in the show with Vikings head coach Dean Santoria. But first, the news of the day, and it's for our class, Abby. Seniors, the parking pass permit application with required documentation is due today. Please drop off the forms to the main office. A reminder, only completed applications with administrative approval will give you a parking permit. When returning the application, a current, not expired, copy of each of the following three documents are required. A valid New York State driver's license, car insurance card, and vehicle registration. Additionally, juniors should not be parking on school property just yet. Parking permits for seniors are due today, so you need to be patient. If you do not have a permit, you will not be allowed to park on school property. We had a good turnout in the Viking Mall on Wednesday at the first annual club and extracurricular fair for students. In one of those clubs, the Venture Yearbook Club, is in the process of creating pages for its 2024 edition. Their club's activities and music editors will be designing pages for the two 256 page publication in the next few weeks and need some information from our club's activities and music people. If you are the advisor or facilitator of any students or teacher-led group including music, clubs, and activities, please fill out the form. Send in an email by Mr. Chris Simpson earlier this week so we may include you in the yearbook. The form will close soon so the yearbook staff can begin planning out the pages, so please fill out the survey ASAP. Thank you! Tech Club will be starting Monday, September 25th at 2.30 p.m. in the Tech Wing, Room 70. We will be discussing projects for the upcoming school year. All are welcome to join, but you must be willing to commit to coming to Tech Club each week. A club near and dear to my heart, Spotlighters, will hold auditions for Tales for Tots on Monday, September 25th and Tuesday, September 26th at 2.30 in the Senior Cafeteria. Anyone interested is invited to audition for any or all of our shows. Student Council has created a new logo for our Grand Island Blue Crew, the best cheering section in all of Western New York. If you want to be a part of the fun and the madness, go to gibluecrew2023.itemorder.com to order your new Blue Crew t-shirt with the new logo. There are both blue and white options for just about everything on this site. Also, if you buy a new Blue Crew shirt, you will be invited to our Vikings Care Blue Crew tailgate before the Varsity Football Senior Night game on Friday, October 20th. You'll be able to play games, get free food and drinks, and make some amazing memories. Don't miss out! Again, go to gibluecrew2023.itemorder.com. All orders are due by midnight this Monday night, September 25th. Our friends at VCMS currently have a Viking sportswear sale going on, and the entire district can purchase some sweet Viking merch. Please use this link, vcms2023.itemorder.com slash shop slash home, and check out all of the great items they have to offer, including t-shirts, sweatshirts, pullovers, shorts, pants, slides, caps, and even bucket hats. The sale closes Monday, October 9th at midnight. <laughs> Looking for something to do this weekend? Well, you're in luck because it's the Grand Island History Weekend where you can visit local historical sites and learn the island's unique history. Tomorrow, Saturday, September 23rd from 1 to 4 p.m., head to Alt Farm, 2489 Whitehaven Road, featuring the original farmhouse and barn bill in the late 1800s, an ice house and Grand Island Schoolhouse Number 8, recently renovated into the Alt Nature Center. At the same time tomorrow, you could also venture to River Lee at Beaver Island State Park. Built in 1873 as part of the Lewis F. Allen Estate, the current home to the Grand Island Historical Society contains memorabilia from U.S. President Grover Cleveland as well as Victorian furnishes. And tomorrow and Sunday from noon to 5 p.m. is the Fall Festival at Kelly's Country Store. 3121 Grand Island Boulevard. Walter and Grace Kelly began selling penny candy at local festivals, then traded their buffalo home and a payment for $1 for their first 20 by 20 Kelly's Country Store location. 
The store is fourth generation Kelly family owned, selling unique gifts and homemade chocolates and a variety of candies. Included on the site is Schoolhouse Number no. 5, which will be open for viewing. So take a trip into Grand Island's rich history all this weekend. Juniors and seniors, we are pleased to invite you to the U.S. Congressman Brian Higgins Service Academy Night, which will be held on Tuesday, October 3rd at 6 p.m. at Williamsville South High School, 5950 Main Street in Williamsville. Students, parents, and guidance counselors are invited to attend to learn more about the nomination and application process for students considering applying to the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis, the U.S. Air Force Academy, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy, and the U.S. Coast Guard Academy, as well as the ROTC programs. Representative Brian Higgins and his staff, as well as reps from each academy, will be available to answer any questions. Students who attend the service academies graduate with a top-tier education, strong leadership, experience, and a commission as an officer. Moreover, these men and women will join a proud tradition of leadership and service to our nation. If you have any questions, contact Director Megan Corbett at megan.corbett at mail.house.gov or 716-852-3501. Tonight, our Grand Island Varsity Football Vikings are back on home turf, looking to stay unbeaten when they battle their rival, the Sweet Home Panthers. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. right here at Gene Masters Field. The Vikings started their season dominating Newport 35 to nothing on the Friday before classes even started, behind a vaunted rushing attack by Michael Soule, Jacob Joseph, and Braden Willits, who all scored touchdowns in the game. The defense dominated the Lancers, earning the shutout and getting points of their own, thanks to Jacob Joseph's pick six. Week two saw Grand Island hit the road for the first time at North Tonawanda, where the Vikings jacked NT for the victory. In an offensive explosion, 56-20, to Jake Joseph and Mike Soule had two touchdowns each on the ground, while Braden Willits and Dom Nucci also added a rushing touchdown each. Plus, the Vikings were successful through the air with two touchdowns, including this incredible trick play by Fortune Macri and John Neville for six. Last week, Grand Island was away again, taking on the Hamburg Bulldogs, and you guessed it, we muzzled them, this time by a much closer score, 25-20. to Jake Joseph and Dom Nucci had career games each rushing for over 100 yards and a touchdown. Jake had 155 yards on 21 carries, and Dom had 118 yards on 17 carries. Quarterback Braden Willits also added a score on the ground for the victory. Which leads us to tonight's game against Sweet Home at Masters Field. Our Viking Vision cameras caught up to head coach Dean Santorio for a preview. All right, coach, uh, your team is undefeated with a 3-0 record on the season. All impressive wins. Uh, what has this start told you about this team so far? And what or who has surprised you during this young season? Yeah, I, you know, I think last year was a little tough because we started off early with a couple losses. This year coming back, being 3-0, obviously, you know, uh, builds your confidence that's that's number one but um, we've been very happy with our offensive line play that's where we felt as though we were a little young this year um, we did have Doug Crowley coming back as a starter at center but the other four guys were basically first year starters um, so Anthony Vaccaro, Jerry Ziantara, obviously Doug Crowley Matt Martin and, and um, Bobby Inglesby done a fantastic job up front. I think so far being 3-0, and that's maybe been the biggest difference in what we've been able to accomplish. But our defense has also played really good football. We did have seven kids coming back on the defense. So um, overall, we're happy with both those areas. And offensively, the Vikings have dominated in the ground game. Uh, what have been the keys to your success with your rushing attack so far this year? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mentioned the offensive line. That's where it starts. But, you know, our three backs that have carried, or actually four when you count our quarterback, that have carried the bulk of, of the carries have done a great job. I mean, Dominic Nucci, we went to a lot last game, which he still carried the ball in the first two, but probably a little more dominant last week. Had a fantastic game. Jacob Joseph's been really good all three games. Um, he's our starting tailback. And then Michael Soule, who's come in when we've needed him, has had a couple big runs, especially early in the first two games for a couple scores. And then we throw Braden in the mix at quarterback, which we run quite a bit out of our offense, has had a couple really big and electric runs too. So really all four of them have done a really nice job. And of course, we're going to count on those four guys moving forward. 
Defensively, the Vikings have been strong also and opportunistic with taking away the ball for some key turnovers. Uh, can you speak to Grand Island's play on defense so far? Yeah, I think it starts up front to our defensive line's done a great job pressuring the quarterback. Um, Got to give a lot of credit to Hunter Hall's played really well at defensive end. Um, and then Doug Crowley's our other defensive end. Uh, and again, just that pressure, you know, has created some of those turnovers with quarterback pressures, quarterback sacks, some bad footballs being thrown that we've intercepted. But guys like Elijah Linenfelser, who was our defensive player of the year last year, continues to make a lot of tackles and make a lot of plays. Dominic Nucci's been great in the middle. Um, and then our secondary, you know, come up with a few of those interceptions. I think Michael Saul has a couple. Jake Joseph has an interception for a touchdown. Um, so all those guys have contributed. And, um, you know, I, I think moving forward, we have a couple games ahead of us that are going to be a little more difficult. So our defensive front and, and what we do on that side of the ball is going to make the difference to stay in and win those games. And you mentioned now one of your opponents, your opponent tonight, Sweet Home, uh, enters Masters Field with a 2-1 and one record. Can you talk about the challenges with facing this longtime rival? Yeah, I think the biggest challenge right now with them is they do throw the football probably better than the three teams we've played. Their quarterback 6'3", throws the ball well. He also can run when he, when he gets some pressure. But they have two or three really solid receivers that they'll throw it down the field quite a bit. If you don't make adjustments on balls and make sure you stay over the top, you know, they create a, pro a lot of problems just because of their athletic ability and quarterback throws a pretty good ball. So, you know, that's going to be the biggest challenge. Can we slow down their pass game um, from a defensive standpoint? And obviously, we're going to stick to doing right now what we do best, hopefully move the football on the ground and take advantage of, you know, field position and get in the end zone when we have the opportunity. And lastly, you're playing on home turf the first time in three weeks. Just talk about the Vikings faithful and what a home game means to your club. Yeah, you know what? Uh, first uh, game of the year, we had a nice turnout, and we've always relied on a nice crowd. I think our, our kids come to support games on Friday nights. I think the community comes out and supports us. Just when you're home to have that little extra energy means a lot. And because, you know, Sweet Home over the years turned into a rivalry, it's nice to be home playing them with, you know, a little bit more of that backing in the stands, and I'm sure we'll have a good crowd this week. Thanks, Coach. Remember, kickoff for Friday Night Lights begins at 7 p.m. Our Blue Crew Varsity Cheerleaders and Pep Band will be in full force during the game, and Casey's Counter Concessions will be open throughout for all your food, snack, and beverage needs. Go Vikings! Let's get a victory for Jenna's birthday. That would be a great gift, as was anchoring this newscast with you, Abby. Aw, thanks. Well, that does it for Friday Viking Vision Newscast. Thanks for clicking in. And remember, don't have a good day, have a great day. That's a wrap! Woo! <laughs>